Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another special episode of the Dream Bubble Podcast. Today, we have a wonderful special guest with us this very second, this moment of time. All the way from across the world, we have the brand new community manager for Media Molecule, Tom Dent. It's probably the most epic intro I've ever had. <laughs> it took me a lot of practice, to be honest, after doing this, what, 15 times? <laughs> yeah, you gotta refine it. I gotta refine it you a have bit. To, yeah. Usually nice, I say, nice. welcome inhabitants of planet Earth, welcome to the latest episode. But for some reason, I didn't oh. say it this time. Yeah, you, you improvised, Ben. That's cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you for that. Yeah, no worries. Um, <laughs> Tom, um, I said this before, but I'll happily say it again. Welcome to the family, the community, and the me molecule. Uh, thank you very much. It's been, it's been awesome. But I, I've only been two weeks, but I've, I've felt very, uh, very welcomed, both by the team here and by you guys. Yeah. Um, you, yeah, there's a lot of uh, love going around. For everybody and it's nice people yeah. love you and um you're doing such Aww. a fantastic job so far and it's like oh thank you cool it's like all i had to thank do you, was literally go into twitter bio and see where's zora i'm like yep kingdom hearts fan we're gonna connect very well <laughs> <laughs> that yeah that that sorts me out like anything anything kingdom hearts if you ever if anyone ever meets me in person just talk to me about kingdom hearts and i'll be good to go it was my childhood too ever yeah, since perfect. oh my gosh perfect we'll talk about it later on today in the podcast too. yeah we we'll have, we'll have a lot of time for people who yeah. don't know what Kingdom Hearts is, it's a JRPG. Um, it's in America too. Pretty popular with fans. It's um, hmm. if you love Disney too, um, there's Disney characters in it. Final Fantasy characters in it. You can't go wrong with Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So Tom, tell us about yourself. Where did you come from? Okay. Uh, so my name's Tom. I'm 24 years old. <laughs> no, we're not going. I won't get in that much detail. Um, You're so, yeah, older I'm than just me. Tired. <laughs> oh, am I? Nice. Yeah. Um, I, so yeah, I've just started here at Media Molecule as the new community manager. It's my first uh, community management role. Um, however, I have been working for the past three to five years uh, working for Game. Uh, if, for you, that's basically Game's, game's Stop. Uh, oh, yeah. I was like looking at your brand, I'm like, wait, Game? Is that like an actual company or was that like the equivalent of GameStop here in NA? So I looked yeah, it up, it was a yeah, game. I was like, oh, yeah, Troy, I saw a game when I was in um, England. That's so cool. Yeah, it's the, uh, it's the uh, UK, it's the gaming session, it's the UK, and I work as part of the social team and the content team. Um, so what I do here, basically, but for uh, a retail agency instead of uh, gaming development. And that's where I basically learned everything I know. <laughs> that's great. It's a good start in the game industry. I mean, yeah, it was you great work a game and, yeah. Yeah, it was, well, it was sort of in the middle of, like, everything. So whereas now I get to focus on just that one like one game and like one brand uh we had our we were all over the place so we'd be working on playstation one day xbox the next nintendo the week after so i was able to sort of really get my like teeth into the industry itself and learn a lot so then and then i think the natural evolution was to come somewhere like media molecule and refine everything i've learned so far and hopefully i do a good job with it aka your dream job because you're working on dreams yeah basically <laughs> well <laughs> it's ironic because i was looking when i applied and um, you do all that always thing where you like you do a you do a new cv and all sorts and i found the very first cv i made and uh, the, the introduction to myself was uh hi my name is tom dent and i want to i i dream of being a community manager in the video game industry yeah so it is, it is basically what I've always wanted to do. So it seems a bit surreal. Like every time I walk through the door at here, I still pinch myself. I'm still sort of like waking up in the morning going, is this real? Like, am I actually a, a community manager for it? <laughs> and obviously, Media Molecule, especially in the UK, they're amazing. Like they are, like people people know who they are. So for this to be, it seems such an honor. And it is such an honor yeah. to be working here. They made the color pink cool. If it oh, wasn't cool, oh, yeah. they made it cool in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing is, uh, game games color as well was pink. Really? So I, I think <laughs> I think that's my sort of that's my brand like color that I lean towards. Uh, so but cool. no, it's 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 insane to be working here. I love it so much. Uh, today is my second Friday, and already I like I said before, I feel welcomed. I feel I know what I'm doing. Um, it's great learning everything there is to know, and I'm so excited for what's coming. Yeah, it's it's definitely the horizon for dreams. Um, yes. Yeah. Just to give a heads up to folks right now, it's like 
this is a podcast focused on Tom, not dreams. So don't expect any specific dreams questions. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still I'm still learning everything there is to know. So I probably wouldn't be able to answer too many questions just yet. Anyway. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a good <laughs> adventure. I promise you. <laughs> if... <laughs> I can't wait. I'm so excited. The, the game is awesome. I'm excited um, for you. <laughs> thank you. I mean, coming in like I've come in as a fan of the game anyway. Like it's it's fascinated me. Uh, we'll we'll get into my history with like medium molecule games and stuff before, but like coming into yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a developer that's got this game on the horizon that's just so insane and like mind blowing, so, um, <laughs> it's incredible. Yeah, I ended up using the word mind blowing way too much, so I have to think of a different word now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fair enough. We'll find a different word for this podcast, I'm sure. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's no. Um, seriously though, um, sometimes. I do have dreams where I'm actually at Mini Molecule, so I do have to pitch myself, <laughs> and I do actually wake up, and I go, aw. But, like, no, the fact uh, that you have, like, the whole pitching dream thing, and yet you're still there, that's awesome enough. Yeah. It's cool. It, 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 like, I, I don't think it's, and I don't think it's going to wear thin anytime soon, because it's, it is just amazing. I'll probably sit down in a couple of weeks and be like, right, Tom, you work at Media Molecule. Get it into your head. Yes. <laughs> it's like, here's a daily reminder on my iPhone or something. Reminder, you're working me in Molecule. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> this is where I live for all my life. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what was your first day like? Um, when you applied, oh. you got the job and the interviews and all that jazz. Like, what was it like on your first day? Like, I know when you go into Guilford, you go into that building and then you go and you see like a pink carpet waiting for you just to go right inside. Yeah. And like, I yeah, I was uh, I was crazy nervous. <clears throat> Luckily, I'd I'd obviously I'd spoken to Abby like a bunch of times, so I knew who I was going to be coming to work for and with, um, and Jenny as well. Everyone's so welcoming, but I think I had the first day nervous. But as soon as you walk through the door, you're greeted with the smiles, you're greeted with like the waves, and everyone saying hello and all sorts. So it was um, my nerves were quickly like taken away. Did they do like a um, welcome chat, being like, "Welcome to the club, welcome to the club, welcome Squidward, welcome what? Squidward, like in SpongeBob." <laughs> no, um, Jenny sent an email around because um, I, ba- I basically started and we've just gone straight into it, so there's not really been much time to sort of like. Probably that's probably still why I'm still pinching myself is there's probably not been too much time to collect our thoughts, um, but I kind of prefer that because I just sort of jumped in on the channel, started talking to you guys, got introduced to you guys. Uh, that was incredible as well. The uh, the outpouring of love to this complete stranger. There's so much love um, for everybody. Was yeah. insane. So thank you to everyone for that. Like that was definitely a very very, very humbling moment. Uh, my phone was going crazy with all these people <laughs> saying hello. And that was just it was insane. So yeah, my first day was incredible, and so far each day has been better. So on your first day uh, during lunchtime, I believe if when you go to the second floor, were you like, oh, gee, you have a kitchen here too, and like all this cool <laughs> well, stuff? What do you think? Well, luckily, I'd actually I'd spent the an evening up here before I started. After I got after I'd been given the job, I came up uh, for the global game jam. Oh yeah, actually, that's right for the stream. I was yeah, I was behind the cameras, so no one knew I was there. Um, <gasps> oh, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky! <laughs> so I was I was already familiar with the layout of the office. Abby and Jenny had given me a tour before, uh, but that the first time I came in to the office and I saw all upstairs, like it's the first my very first thought when I walked into the studio was like, of course, this is Media Molecules' office. Because the company is known for being friendly and lovely and all sorts, and as soon as you walk into the office, as I'm sure you know. Oh yeah, that's the when you get. I was that's there. The image yeah. you get. I was there like, last year, actually, this summer around in March. Actually, yeah. I was there for a week. Greatest honor yeah, of my life, and I'm glad you could experience <laughs> it too for much more longer than I had. Jealous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's um, yeah, it was it was insane to walk in and just be like, it was just it's just lovely, and then yeah, the up second floor with uh, Catherine and make making the food and they're just always up there smiling saying hello and best all sorts. food ever like every single yeah. day Sunday new and different and there's <laughs> yeah, always people incredible. doing random stuff we can talk about that more because i think one of the questions about lunch uh yeah so that's fine yeah <laughs> yeah um <laughs> i should like totally have mm do like a welcome chat for new people coming into the group that'd be kind of cool actually <laughs> <You'd> be like <laughs> I, I i think we, i think we're more of a hugging team oh they love so that i hug think and like high hugging high. hugging and high especially and johnny stuff, loves so high five people <laughs> yeah yeah. So I think yeah, I Good think man. that's the our more welcoming our welcoming system. Definitely. Were you, like when you walked in, you notice how like everyone's all like together in one room, like next to each other. Like they don't have like should be cool or anything. They're literally like no. walking distance from each other. Like isn't yeah, that like kinda of different from other game studios or other companies it, you worked at? 
Well, yeah, I mean, my last company, they were, it was they're a huge company, so there are all these sorts of offices and stuff, so it's really it's been really incredible to just come in and just everyone's there. I, my desk is right opposite, like, Siobhan. She sits, like, over the, over the couple of desks from me, and that's insane. Um, it's just really nice because it's that team atmosphere. Like, oh. obviously, that you've got the, you've got the people who are doing more, but like, and the like, the bigger jobs. But everyone's one team. Like after you told me that, I literally envisioned where I think I know where you sit now. Because if I remember the layout yeah. from when I was a media molecule, we need to come up with this I think I know where you sit. It's like I believe there's been a. I think there was a re, uh, like a like a move around to, just before I started, but oh, yeah, you no. probably know where I sit. My, my mental layout is ruined now. I need sure like to figure it out for me. I have to like have a lot of space. <laughs> no worries. Surprising you every time. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Uh, so when you walked in, you said hi to everybody. You you know been in the second floor. You've done a lot of stuff and covered everything already, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah. Have you talked to like different departments about like getting to know them and what they're working on specifically yet, or is it like yeah. just the community so department? My- well, my first my first week was sort of like uh, just like settling in and like talking, using the channels and stuff. And this week, I've dedicated my time to like meeting people. So I met with John Beach earlier this week to talk about what he does and his and the people around him. Uh, and his Legos. Oh, so much. So much Legos. <laughs> there is so much on his desk. Um, and I spoke with Ed to find out all about the amazing audio and music uh, part of Dreams. And Claire and all sorts. I've been talking to everyone, learning what people do, and I've got a I've got a rough outline of what everyone does now. So I'm feeling confident that I know what that person does and I know what this person does. Like, whereas in my first week, I was just like, I hope this is what you do because that's what I'm assuming. <laughs> yeah, like I love how every department is next to each other, so you can like look over your desk and be like, oh hey, look, there's the programming team and there's a designing team. So yeah, you know, it's, re- like, it's really nice. Works. Yeah, you don't have to, yeah you don't have to keep running around trying to find this one person. You know where everyone is. Yeah. It's, I think that's the benefit of working on one floor as well. It's like you look for the heads of me and Molecule. Oh, if there's Alex Evans, that must be the programmer team. Oh, if there's Mark Healy and yeah. Green, that must be the designing team. It's like yeah, that's exactly <laughs> it. That is exactly it. So yeah, I, I went. Around, I've been going around this week talking to different people um, and sort of grabbing my bearings on that. So a bit, a bit of a, a slower week, but almost like more important because I'm getting to know the actual team. Yeah. Um... What's cool is, like, they have, like, what, 50, 60 people? So it's not too many people. You can actually sit down and no. talk to them, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, and obviously, like you mentioned, at lunch times we all sit together. So that's where I get to sit. I learn even more. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> uh, and that puzzle you guys are doing, oh, my gosh. That's going to be tough. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll share a, a story about my first, like, proper media molecule lunch, uh, which was yesterday. I'll, I'll talk to you about that later. But yeah, that puzzle is a, a a few weeks in the in the works, I think. <laughs> How many pieces we'll was it? Like, I can I can't uh, find a box. A, well, apparently it's a thousand. Ooh. So, I, I, it's interesting when you see what they are, what it what it becomes. Uh, is it gonna be like the bandit like, code or a dreams release date when it's completed? That'd can be, you imagine if that was how we did it the, we, sh- like, we should do that like literally right like <laughs> a month when you guys decide when the release date comes in get a puzzle made for dreams and then like every week tweet <laughs> progress of it being made and then in the end yeah. have the release uh, date just appear when I, it's completed I, I think you guys would come at us a bit harder than normal if that's what we did i would love that <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> Like for the like the release, like I know Junie always tweets out like, "Oh, when we know, we'll scream her off the rooftops." I'm like, you know what? Yeah. We should actually scream her off the rooftops. We should like when we know what the release date is, just like be like a during lunch, record me or whoever's there, go run all the way to the lunch area, open the big sliding door to the balcony, and scream, "Hey, Shout lovely it. people, go for it! Dreams is coming out on this date!" And then just tweet <laughs> out the video, be like, "Yeah, so Dreams release date, boom!" And loads of dramatic <laughs> music and all sorts. Yeah, oh, it'd be so cool. Yeah. <laughs> like what I love about being Malcolm is that they're always so creative and do things differently and like it's not just yeah. a random oh hey here's a blog post or a tweet about release date and stuff we can like be so creative and especially yeah. for a game that's like being made for the past six seven years like it needs a yeah, big announcement yeah it's crazy I think yeah well, yeah when it comes to it I'm sure we'll do something massive yeah I trust you you have good ideas everyone has good ideas surprise no, us you. surprise us <laughs> yeah so um. When you got to your awesome desk, um, and you saw, yeah. I imagine you guys have like a dream set up next to your desk, um, like above a kit or something. Like when you saw dreams, like automatically, like your first impression of it when you got there, like were you like, yeah, uh, or like, well, like, I've, so I've followed, I've been following dreams as everyone has since the K 
PS4 reveal, like when it oh, when it nice. was like it, it, even then, like you know, like you know, and me, my, my history of Medium Molecule is obviously like backed a little bit planet, like and we'll, again we'll talk about that later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, yeah, I think my first proper, well, in all honesty, my first like sit down demo of it was with Kareem Stream last week. That, that was my yeah. first time that I was able to sit down and watch someone do something because I came in Global Game Jam like right at the end. So all the games had already been created. Oh, wow. uh, so to sit down with Kareem um, on Friday and just watch him do what he did on that stream, which meme was Kareem. an incredible stream. Meme Kareem. Kareem the meme. With that Kareem stream. stream. And I'm like, Kareem's yeah. amazing. People love Kareem. He's a community favorite. Definitely. He's, uh, he's incredible. Just to watch, l- listen to him talk as well. It's insane. I wish we could have him on a um, podcast or something. He's having him talk for hours and hours and hours. That would be really cool. <laughs> will, well, the, yeah, when he was doing the stream, you would, like, behind the cameras, it was me, uh, Costa and Abby, we were all just sort of like just watching him and just like listening to him. It was incredible. But that was, yeah, that was my first uh, in-person demo of what dreams can do uh, outside of the videos and all sorts. Um, so it was incredible to actually watch it being used and have something come out of nothing. Like You saw it, most of it game. being used in the move controllers too. Most of us saw it with yes. the DualShock first, but you were like, you got the special move optional controllers. Yeah, I got premiere. the I got the prop, uh, full-on Kareem <laughs> demo. Um yeah, it was incredible. It's mind, like again, mind blowing, um, and it's. I think it's one of those things that it's just, it's, it's, it's so hard to explain unless you just get to see it. Like, and it's okay to have you your t- like jaw drop if something amazing happens. Like, you have oh, a good God, excuse. Yeah. It's dreams. It's like, just yeah, have it I drop think if you, all the time. If you go back to the, uh, if you go back to the end of the stream when me and Abby are sat on the sofa with Kareem, you can just see my face slowly, like my jaw slowly reach the ground. I should have made but a gift. I just sort of, yeah, yeah, you did, <laughs> yeah, and um, that was like my genuine reaction. I remember someone in the comments. I, I don't know if it was you or someone else, but they said like it's amazing to see like molecules still be amazed by it. Yeah, like even though we live and breathe it, it's incredible to watch. And I think that's gonna that is the situation with it. It's like every time you see it, because some, something else is happening with it, it's just incredible. So yeah, I've I've been I've been well and truly really blown away. It's by new I've every seen. single time, yeah. It's like a yes, therapeutic exactly. art piece. Like you can it doesn't have to be a game, just sit down, watch people create and just relax and have fun. Yeah, it's incredible. Like I can't praise it enough. I go home and uh, talk to my girlfriend and just be like, How does it work? Like I don't know how it works. <laughs> I think I sat who was it I was sat with? Yeah. I was sat with it was when I was sat with Ed talking about the audio stuff. <clears throat> the, mm-hmm. I kept asking him, I just kept saying, How? How like, how and it just is like i think that like, that's the answer is it just is did i tell you like, what you happened know. um oh well i haven't told you yet because we, we didn't talk properly but like when i first saw the music tools back in last year in march when bogdan was awesome enough to give me a demo of it like i was about yeah. there was literally tears in my eyes i took off my glass i was like i'm sorry bogdan give me one second i took off my glasses and i was like what <laughs> and i almost walked out once or twice before going back in because like the sense of what it was trying to achieve and it wasn't even what we saw like back at psx like it was nine months before that and like everything yeah. i saw i was like what and like he was yeah, laughing the, the whole time i was like oh my god i was like dude you have no was... idea how my phone people would be about this <laughs> well yeah and that was what happened at psx i think the music was one of the things that i took away from the psx presentation like the most that and john beach's like level in under 10 minutes video yeah um and because that happened during like the process of me like interviewing it was like incredible it was crazy because you, i was like this is what i'm hopefully going to work with blah, and now i actually am it's incredible um but the music stuff is just insane like i've got friends who are music producers and all sorts and like they're on board with dreams because of that yeah like people who work in the game dev like when they see the game they'll be like wow you make everything that's like complicated to do easy and fun <laughs> yeah. and now that's gonna, it's gonna change be, it's everything gonna be, yeah it's gonna be crazy and the, like that's that's just the running theme the whole thing as you guys well know like it's just like there's just it's just insane thing after insane thing after insane thing it's yeah and you didn't be show everything off yet you get the logic animation at gdc this year by the way guys if you don't know dreams is going to be at the global game jam no not global game jam uh, train jam sorry yeah uh this march uh 16 17 and 18 i think it was oh i forgot what the dates were but somewhere around the that's, that the, week. That, that's the dates of the t- train jam and then the team are at gdc Yay. Uh, a couple of days later demonstrating what they made at the train jam and the logic and animation hopefully <laughs> 
No, not quite. I like think that. That, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, we're still there. Yeah. Iron, ironing out what's going to be demoed at GDC. Okay, yeah, so, no worries. I want to speak. It will be great. Yeah. <laughs> and, but we are planning, like we've said, we've said we we are planning a stream in March to show off. What do you guys mean? Bits and pieces. Yeah. So yeah, you 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 will all get to see, it. and then obviously, GDC stuff, streams stuff comes out, and it'll be incredible. March is going to be huge. It's going to be so much fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and day of the devs make sure to check out all the cool games yes. there as well including dreams yeah it's gonna be incredible. incredible um i don't know if you guys mentioned it i don't know if you can say it but is dreams playable at day of the devs or are you just like showing off the game honestly i've just been looking over the gdc stuff so i i, you don't I don't know. Know. oh yeah no worries yeah i just yeah, wanted to make I sure say. i won't yeah. like misinform people yeah, yeah. <laughs> no okay. that's cool all right i awesome. think the thing to focus on yeah is the train jam gdc and day of the devs anything that we show off there will be obviously I still remember the Chain Jam two see. years ago too. There were um, it was Johnny, Johnny, and I think one other person. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. Bogdan was there too, I think. Sure. Yeah, and yeah, and they did like the whole rocket walking thing for like the blue energy orb things, and they had to put it yes. in and make a final. Yeah, it was so cool. Yeah, yeah. I only learned what Train Jam was like, like a few, a couple of, a few weeks ago. Really? It was yeah. Crazy. That thing. That thing is crazy. Like, it sounds so cool. Yeah, I um had the honor to meet the person who made it, um, Adriel. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yes. And she's pretty awesome. Yeah, incredible. Like, yeah, it's it's an insane thing. It's awesome. Yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> I never expected to be on a train for fifty-two hours, let alone have That's a long the time. Game. I know. Yeah, it's a long time. <laughs> Luckily, we've got a perfectly good tool to make something on a train. For oh yeah, definitely. Hours, so we, they're good. Yeah, I think it was Johnny, Abby, and somebody else. Alex, Alex is going. Alex Perry, QA tester. It's gonna be fun. Oh, this, this year. as yeah. in, uh, in a few weeks. Oh yeah, it's uh, John B, Alex, Abby, and I want to say I want to say Ed, but I'm not too sure. Let me check my notes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no worries. Yeah, I know it's like a lot um, of stuff to yeah, get, get into. There's yeah. so much going on. Um, I'll find out those, those details for you. Yeah, no worries. Oh, yeah, yes. we have a whole month ahead of us. <laughs> Abby, Alex, John B, Ed. Yeah, they, so there you four. It's gonna be fun. We get to hear more videos, yeah. hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm sure. That, yeah. Channel, so funny. I'm sure there will be. Oh yeah. Uh yeah, that's cool. So I'm um, first of all, I'm glad you got to see dreams, and hopefully over time you get to mess around with it because it seems like there is a lot to like mess around yes. with. It's pretty ambitious. Um. Yeah, it's incredible. I think you showed me the questions that you're gonna ask me. I think one of the questions is, have I made anything yet? Oh yeah. Um, it's like we have so yeah, much to talk so... about before the questions too. It's like. Yeah. No. Right. <laughs> So I'll say I'll save those bits and pieces for later. This is gonna be one awesome podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Hope so. Yeah. So, all right. To recap, you worked the game for five years. Awesome. You did social media yeah. stuff, and then you applied to Media Molecule, got to Media Molecule, and then your mind was blown even more. And because you yes. were following dreams yeah. and everything, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, you you have a PSN account, right? You play on PlayStation. Or... Yeah, I have all sorts. I PlayStation and Xbox, Nintendo Switch. My I I live about an, I live about I live about an hour out on the train, so my switch is like my companion. Yeah, like, that is my thing. Um, but I would say, yeah, mainly PlayStation is my platform of choice, and I'm not just saying that because I work at Media Molecule. PlayStation has been my life for as long as I can remember. I'm so proud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the switch is telling to be Odyssey. Ah, so much to do. Oh uh, yeah, yeah still to play Zelda as well. Need to. Yeah, I saw oh, you tweet about on, Zelda, and I was like, oh, so cool. Yeah, Zelda's insane. Like, it's, it's next level. It's as good as everyone says, and it, obviously last night was the Dice Awards. Oh, that's right. Um, Abby was there, too, I believe. Prince Abby was there, yeah. yeah. Did, did you catch it? Have you seen any of it yet? I've seen tweets of it. I know Gorilla won Horizon, yeah. and... Um, yeah, Gorilla won Horizon for best story and best te- technology, I and think. And Susuna Sacrifice, um, or Susuna Sacrifice, however you pronounce it, won uh, also as well. Oh, yeah, Hellblade, Senua Hellblade, Sacrifice yeah, won best is. character, uh, which is an incredible game. If you know, if there's anyone that hasn't played Hellblade, play it. There's like no it's HUD in so, the game, it's just pure story, I believe. I it's recall. brilliant. There's there's combat, the combat's awesome, um, but it's just this mind-tripping uh, like story thing. It's crazy, it's so, so good. Um, and then yeah, uh, Zelda won like everything else. Zelda, um, yeah. But yeah, Abby went out and um, presented best animation and best art direction, both of which were won by Cuphead. Nice, Cuphead um, deserves which it. Was, I love Cuphead. Yeah, it's Cuphead, hard but brilliant. so good. Uh, so yeah, that's so yeah, we were represented by our fearless, our fearless communications manager. She's incredible. She started night. last year, I think, and then 
she did a really good job with everything so far and working with everybody yeah she, uh yeah she's and doing awesome work you like i remember yeah when you started and uh you came along and then jenny gave you she waved a magical wand basically and gave you all of her community managing powers which yes. is pretty cool yeah everything yeah jenny's taught me everything i need to know here like and she still is she's the one i'll turn to she, she, i sit just in front of her oh, so nice. um any questions i've got right now i'm like jenny what'd you do she's like i got and my she, expertise yeah. waiting yeah it's gonna be yeah, awesome both, yeah both abby and jenny have been like insane like so helpful they're the like a weeks. really cool dynamic duo they work really well together yeah like, they're awesome yeah and hopefully i don't come in and like mess it all up so it should all be fine no no you're doing a great job so far <laughs> you're doing a better job than i would ever do i'll tell you that much oh, thank <laughs> i know you, you thank you great don't worry you'll be fine thank you very much it's gonna get you, very yeah. busy with the community if it's, if it's like oh, OP, yeah. it's gonna be intense but like, i can't wait like just tra- having t- spoken to you guys over the past like two weeks like it's been incredible and i can't wait to we do more and more and more yeah like, and the meetups that we do like meeting everyone in person will be such a good oh, i hope that can happen one day that would be thing. so cool just be um, like hey global community event everyone's invited let's go party yeah take over some sort of town or something or do a um, world tour i always wanted that like have a train a world or a, a media molecule world tour a, yeah like a truck with like dreams and then drive to <laughs> different states or different countries or whatever and then like have like a uh, the booths so people can play dreams inside of it or something <laughs> they've done that actually with well, playstation so maybe they, yes, have to, they, they can use yeah, the truck. And stuff. or the world yeah, record um yeah we'll go ask them have you seen the we'll world record thing before for a little bit planet 2 the, no no i'm not familiar so with um two days before the little bit planet 2 got released they held a world record event in new york city where dave dino luge and sean crowley um played little bit planet for two days straight and broke a world record oh for the time yes games. remember that it's like way yes. back when. yes that's when yeah, I started sorry Twitter. yeah that's w- yeah and um, way back yeah yeah and they, yeah. they broke seven world records i was like okay yeah, dreams incredible. it's time it's time to beat this <laughs> i know you're good enough to, be, to do world records let's get this organized and i'm like i don't yeah, know who to talk I... to to make this happen <laughs> yeah i can't wait man i'm so excited to just like work with everyone um over the next like over the coming months and obviously beyond like years down the line i'm sure people will still be like creating things in dreams so it's going to be incredible to just see what happens and it's obviously going to evolve it's like the and... best like it's on the verge of being on um, the best meal game so like what i say personally like yeah minecraft that's like in my personal opinion i'm not saying it is but it's low and then you have unreal and unity which is high then you have dreams which yeah. is like literally on the tip of being high like it's that good oh, thank you and it's thank like you. you're at the point where you have enough unique indifference by making complex stuff fun and easy to learn they can easily yeah. in a year's time add even more features and make it so good like Right yeah. now, it's already mind blowing. But imagine in a year time or two time, you add yeah. more to expand. I think that's the thing. Like, yeah, like a year after launch, two years after launch, like the game's going to evolve. It's um, oh my god! Out, so, however, it's going to evolve. Like it's insane already. But yeah, w- like when everyone gets their hands on it and all sorts, it's going to be incredible. I can't wait. I think that's one of the best things is like you guys, the like, community as a whole, is so creative um, already. Like um, Farron with um, Europa. Like yes, that yeah, yeah, yeah. Insane. Community project. Like, yeah. and that exists already. Like, <laughs> all they need now is they just actually need to make it. Like, yeah, they need to get their hands set. on. It's incredible, yeah. and we're seeing that already. So I can't wait to see what we're going to see. Like, there's another collab project too with the Arcade Hub with whenever. the M Space. I think. Yes. Yeah, on Gene's yes, Space, you're yeah. on that team. Discord Which chat. Is, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Being discussed. But stuff is happening already. Tomorrow. So. Yeah. It's exciting. Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait. I, yeah, it's, it's going to be so much work. Oh, but it's so much fun. <laughs> yeah, I've got, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely what it's going to be. Definitely going to be fun. It is. Like, have you had, like, a list of ideas that you hope to do within the five years, something like that? Or are you, like, I know you just started, so maybe, like, maybe it's a bit too early. <laughs> no, I've got, I've got a few plans. Obviously, I won't share any. No, you, you um, don't have to share any. Make it a surprise. No, no, yeah. no, no. Um, yeah, I've, I've got some plans. Definitely. Kingdom Hearts remake? <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somebody, if you're a fan of Kingdom Hearts, please remake Zora functional in dreams. And you're like, let's have this happen. Come on, Twilight. No, don't do that because that's content. That's copying. Oh. Make something original. How Make about a tribute? Original. So, Zora, but in a world where it won't be inside the game. So, have like Monster Shrek. <laughs> let's have Shrek inside first. Please. You can't promote it because of copyright, but I want to see it happen, anyways. <laughs> Which is, yeah, um, it's going to be fun seeing all that cool stuff. And 
Oh my gosh, yeah. don't get me started with DLC. All the ideas you can do and all the licenses you can get. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> I'm sure there'll be like a ton. Like we'll be looking at the game five years after launch and just like you can be like, all right, here's a list of every single developer on the planet. Let's contact them. Yeah, <laughs> imagine those phone calls. What was your favorite game from your childhood? Contact those developers. Fa- Let's get it. <laughs> yeah. My favorite game from childhood. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, we can ask that too. Yeah, what's your favorite game from childhood? No, no. I thought you were asking me, but I've just realized what? you're asking what the whole thing was. I'm assuming no it's Kingdom Hearts, isn't game. it? Yeah, yeah, probably. I- that was the game that made me. <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah, it's all about friendship. Yeah, oh yeah, it is. It's nice, <laughs> nice and cheesy that way. But no, yeah, I can't wait to see. I can't wait to see what happens in dreams with the community, like being who they are. It's going to be incredible. Yeah, it's going to be fun. And then you have a whole bunch of contests. Did we tell you about the um, the dreams engine contest uh, that we had no. two years ago? So basically, what we did no. was we held a contest called Working Title on Dream Bubble, where right. um. People can pick a name for the Dreams Engine because it didn't officially have one yet. It was right after the first live stream ever for me and Molecule happened in October 2015. Right. And then me and Molecule was like, oh, this is awesome. Whoever wins is going to be officially dubbed the name for the Dreams Engine and we'll get their name oh, in the cool. credits. And, nice. And yeah, after all that happened, um, we picked Bubble Bath and everybody has a logo. <laughs> if you go to the fan wall, the picture is on the fan wall right now, actually. Genius. So it's um, Genius. that's where I came yeah, from. Yeah, go check it out. By David Desu, yeah. Amazing. <laughs> amazing I, I wasn't aware <laughs> yeah it's it's cool it's gonna be fun like I wish mm. when Genius comes out like you can have like a little pop up in the intro like you know how it says Sony presents or whatever PlayStation presents I have like yeah. bubble bath animated logo for like two seconds <laughs> like that'd be so cool Give big, a big cheer a big cheer a big for bubble cheer bath big cheer for it yeah, yeah. it's definitely it's one big bubble name. bath it's <laughs> a great word it's, that's a fantastic word <laughs> yeah it's oh, incredible <laughs> and then or we can 3D print the logo too, maybe. That's too far. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> T-shirts, mugs, all sorts. <laughs> yeah. So what kind of um, events have you been to in terms of gaming? Like, have you been to UC, E3? Um, like yeah, I went address? to my first I went to my first E3 last year. Congrats. Um, which was incredible. Uh, like, just... I Obviously, like a dream as a video game fan. It's like the mecca to get to e3 and uh, well again it's similar to like working here it was sort of like am i really here like waking up in my hotel every morning thinking oh yeah wait i'm in e3 it's insane um yeah e3 uh egx here in the uk gamescom i've always wanted um, to go to this as well it's been my dream yeah, too i'm like, here, man, like he's living my life thomas living my life Just... <laughs> you can live vicariously through me yeah um, <laughs> i'm actually i think yeah. i'm either your nobody or your heart from the Kingdom Hearts. Oh, I nice. Do... Well done. <laughs> oh, there yeah, we go. De- Boom. De- definitely. Yeah, definitely. You're pandering to my likes, aren't you? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so all, all the like ones we have, one in the UK called Insomnia. Um, all sorts. Uh, Gamescom is probably my favorite because that one, that is like just for the fans. <clears throat> like E3 is great. Obviously, E3 is like the big one. But Gamescom, there's that like community feel. Yeah, I just want to go to Germany for Gamescom. Like that's my excuse. Yeah. Yeah, Cologne is beautiful. Cologne, Germany. Yeah, Cologne oh, is beautiful. I yeah. wish. Oh my god! Like the beauty about game development is that every year you have all these cool events to go to and stuff. Yeah, yeah. There's uh, like, there's always that like period, like from like when E3 starts and then probably right up until PSX. It's like one every month. It's great. I've had the honor to go to PSX twice. The first time was because of me and Molly. God bless you guys. And the second time mm-hmm. was because. Well, I went there for dreams myself. So I'm like, I'm going. I don't care how much it is. I'm going. And then I went with Jack. Yeah. We met with Puka. It was so much fun. Um, yeah. And we last year the Periscope. Yeah. And it was pretty cool. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm excited. Like, hopefully, hopefully, I'll get to go one day. Um, I've never, we've never, we never went to PSX in my old job just because it didn't work out, like, timing wise. Oh, wow. Um, so, yeah, I, that, I PSX, I religiously watch it every year. That's probably similar to Gamescom. Like, that's got such a good community feel, especially the one that's just gone. I'll like, trade where... you one PSX for an E3 in Gamescom. <laughs> <laughs> it's a solid trade. It's a solid trade. Um, yeah, I love I love events. They're just fun, tiring, um, especially in this kind of work. But oh yeah, GGC is rewarding. like a week long. It's crazy. Yeah, luckily, yeah, Abby's taking the taking the 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 brunt of the GDC stuff. I'll be back here in, in Guildford, so. I'm, I get to chill for now. No, it's it's nice. Um, 
Hopefully, yeah. I remember when I first saw me in Molecules in 2014. It was during Little Bit Planet trivia um, with Spaff yeah. when he was still community manager at the time, and Junior was like yeah. shadowing him. So maybe hopefully in the next event mm-hmm. you can like shadow um, Abby or something. Yeah, so I'll cool. get to. Go, and I just like look forward to the first event that I go to as Media Molecule, and I'll get to say hi to everybody. If I do see you in real life, I'm gonna give you my Kingdom Hearts Limited Edition pin that I got for my 2.5 remix. Oh, Ooh. you. Oh, you don't have to. Don't you keep that. Did, did you, you get the that. remix? Yes, I did. Oh, so you yes, have a pin so too, did. don't you? Yeah, I've got that, man. Yeah, we, we can wear it. We can wear it and be like, <laughs> we got the same pin. We're cool. We're cool. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Because mine's still <laughs> in my wrapper. I didn't touch it. I'm like, where am I going to put this? Yeah, mine's in my cabinet, man. I got, Do I've you have got the PS4 version too? <laughs> yes. Every time that game's come out, I've bought it. Even 2.8 Prologue? Yep. Oh, you're ahead of me. I skipped all the <laughs> DS games. Uh, yeah. So we're talking about King Hearts again. I'm sorry. It's like. <laughs> the lore is insane. Like even watching well, a fifteen minute you... summary is not enough for me. Yeah. Well, you can't have a, you definitely you definitely can't have a podcast about the, with the, where the topic is me, and we wouldn't talk about Kingdom Hearts. It would be weird. I mean, you get so by you get a good by, JRPG, by your you get an emotional yeah. story, and you get Disney yeah. and Final Fantasy all together. So if you love those, you love Kingdom Hearts. Brilliant. And that's why Brilliant. we're talking about it. And <laughs> I should probably mention Disney. So the new Kingdom Hearts game is going to be. Feature worlds from Disney, like Toy Story and Pixar now, which is going to be, like, finally, Toy Story and, um, sorry, Monsters, Inc., what was it? Yeah. And Big Hero uh, yeah, 6 and Tangled and all that jazz. Can't wait. Can't wait. It looks so real, too. Yeah, be prepared for me to lose my mind during then. We've been waiting when 15 years for Kingdom Hearts 3. Let me tell you guys, this game, since Kingdom Hearts 2 came out back in 2006, was it? 2004? Um, uh, 2006. 2006, yeah. Uh, we waited 12 years for a third game. <laughs> but then Square Enix went, oh, nope, we're just going to... Make all these DS games and spinoffs and PSP and all that jazz. And Which we were great. like, oh, I didn't play those. Oh, so good. I need to get Dream Job yeah. Distance for the 2.8 Pro. Very log. good game. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that is a brilliant, brilliant game. And then there's all these cutscenes they poured it over to. But yeah, the, there's all these side stories. And now the third one's going to be made. Finally, it's yeah. coming out this year. <laughs> so imagine waiting for a game for 12 years. For example, say if you're waiting for Duke Nukem or Half Life 3. At least we're getting Kingdom Hearts 3, so sorry we don't get Half-Life yeah. 3. But hey, yeah. the 3 right there. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So Kingdom Hearts is awesome. We'll talk about it also. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you've been to game conventions, which is awesome. I'm jealous. You've been like mm. traveling. I love to travel. Jenny, I know, loves yeah. to travel too, so we talk about traveling. I barely get to yeah. travel, even though I want to. I'm just really happy I'm I went a... to California again. Yeah, so I'm, I'm a... Like, happy. I'm a... I'm an awful flyer, so like, uh, like I get nervous about flying. I used uh, to too. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. Like I go to uh, San Diego with my family each year. Um, oh, nice. Uh, which is like terrifying because the flight's like eight hours. But is there a like, specific reason anyway. why San Diego? Or, like all the places? Uh, we we go to Comic Con. I attend SDCC. Ah, yeah. uh, brilliant. As a holiday, I'm lucky enough to have a mum and a brother who are exactly the same as me. So they love Kingdom Hearts too. Uh, not so much Kingdom Hearts, but they're just nerdy and like and just fans of TV, film, comic books, all sorts. My mum's the reason I'm into Batman. Like no, 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 I, no, 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 <laughs> I, I've definitely, I've definitely, I've definitely been brought up the right way when it comes to uh, pop culture and all sorts. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah, so I, yeah, I fly, um, but I terrify fly. So no, when I, if I ever like come out to LA and stuff, if I seem scared, that's because I've just had a flight. Yeah, uh, oh my gosh, <laughs> I, like, I was scared of flying too, um, actually, <laughs> when I flew from, I haven't told the story to a lot of people yet, but, like, when I flew from, uh, California, from PSX, from Anaheim to San Francisco, I went to go see a friend. Yeah. Uh, let's just say my body isn't used to short flights anymore, so I had a huge epidemic on flight, where, oh, like, no. yeah, and, Oh, so nice. I'm like, oh wow, I guess I should be nervous about flying now. Long story short, yeah. after everything that happened. So now I have to like yeah. take meds every time I fly short flights. Oh man, I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. Oh well. Short flights are the worst though. They, they, you don't have enough time to prepare. Yeah, it's like... awful. It's like, it has to do with like air pressure and quick change. But enough about me. It's about yeah. Tom. Let's talk about that. <laughs> flying. It can be surprising. Free yeah. movies though. Am I right? Free Wi-Fi. Oh yeah. Oh That's my big. gosh, I was so happy I had free Wi-Fi on my flight to PSX because I could watch the PS Presents panel while I'm on my flight. Oh, amazing. And then, like, the person next to me had a portable charger, and I was like, 
do you mind if I? She's like, yeah, whatever, just take it. So I used her portable nice. charger and I used the free Wi-Fi. And I'm like, I so got to watch that's when you watched. That's when you watched the present. Yeah, yeah, with Greg Miller and Siobhan was over dreams and yeah, everything was so yeah, cool. Yeah, great panel, great panel. And then I went to the actual panel, um, the main one they had the next day. I sat with, with Jim. Tim. It was so much fun. I sat with Gemma and I yeah. went on st- on stage. That theater is huge. Yeah, it looks massive. It yeah. Looks utterly massive. Yeah, that was a, that was fantastic. I watched that live just because I was like, these might be my colleagues. I know it's crazy. It's like I love how everyone who like works in Media Molecule or nearly um, added to Media Molecule was a fan of Dreams from the very beginning. Like they've been tracking yeah. this game down. And Claire, I know she yeah. was watching it. For those of you who don't know Claire, she's an awesome tools programmer in Media Molecule. Uh, she's been tracking this game down since day one, which is pretty cool. She loves talking, yeah. like you know, being really excited for it. It's just because it, I think it just has that power, like. As soon as you see it, you're you're at least intrigued. Like you, were, I doubt I'll ever meet anyone who isn't intrigued by the idea of dreams. I it's really insane. It's yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Now you just gotta show it to the world now, and then I think the word of mouth is gonna be the best thing about it. It's gonna cause you guys to have like a huge, like um, presence in terms of hype because when yeah. people see it, like right now people are like dreams, 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 dreams. I'm like, where are all these new fans come from? And apparently people were like, oh, I've seen Dreams. It's so good. Check it out. And that word keeps well, it spreading. Amazing. And it's spreading, it's spreading, it's spreading. And it's going to spread yeah. everywhere when you get more showings and stuff. It was incredible. On Twitter uh, the other day, we had uh, Jared. I can't remember his, I can't remember his uh, handle. but Just he Jared, just yeah, for YouTube. He, he, no, no, no. Oh. Uh, a, new, a new Jared. A new Jared. Um, and he, he reached out saying he's just discovered Dreams. I retweeted like, that. Yes. And Drew yeah. Brothers. And like, that was amazing. Like, that was utterly amazing. Like, there are still people just finding out now, and there will still be people just finding out like years down the line, oh, and hopefully man. they'll have the same reaction. It's incredible. It's like for the past one and a half years, like in the community, like we always brainstorm how dreams would be shown off at a conference. So like the two big yeah. ideas that we had, I I don't know if you guys are gonna do this if you have time or not, but like one was like have like as um uh like a video of you guys um creating a cinematic with all the position um icons like God of War. Uh, Kratos and Charter, Saint and Dragon, yeah. Sarah and Horizon Zero Dawn, and then full people that it looks like the next PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale. So like having like a cinematic <laughs> with all of them, or like a little gameplay. Oh, shout out to everybody. the PlayStation Battle Stars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then like in the end, just be like, oh hey, you saw all these scenes from these first party games, and then who? It's made in dreams. Mind blown. And then mm-hmm. like for the music, I... how the music played live in the orchestra using dreams music tools. So like have Bogdan and Ed like literally play the theme songs for each um. Uh, game while the thing is, the trailer is showing, so like the Horizons are Dawn theme, the um, Uncharted <laughs> theme, like have them literally play live and have like a little screen below showing them playing it live. Playing it, It'd be incredible, wouldn't it? Yeah, and then be like this game, the sculpting and the music as you've seen here, live orchestrated, it's been minute dreams. I love that. I love the on the PSX trailer and the trailers are, when it's just like everything you see in the trailer has been made in dreams. Yeah, like it's, that's the best way. Best way of explaining it best way of explaining it yeah that's a very a very big idea very big idea there musical orchestras of dreams perfect like it, it can't happen yeah. we're just <laughs> gonna uh, convince all and be like hey so instead of having a traditional orchestra put dreams in with four people <laughs> save money promote your game or win-win <laughs> <laughs> it works it does but that's my dream personally it, that'd yeah. be so cool fair enough and like people are seeing um you know, first person stuff like in the PSX trailer and like point and clicks now yeah. with noir theme and sci fi, child fantasy or puzzles and like side scrolling. Like now they get to see like everything's being made differently and you can yeah. make these things. Yeah. Like, yeah, that, that's the mind blowing thing. Like, one of my personal favorite streams that I want to have someday is like having uh, like a set piece, like me pre made, like animated film, and you literally just edit that set piece and make like a short cutscene in 30 seconds showing people how to do it. So, like, yeah. you had stuff pre-made and then just use the animation tools and get it done. Like, and show people, hey, you can make a movie like this. And well, yeah, nice. the, the idea the idea for, like, our streams that we're sort of, like, when we start planning them, like, we're going to want to take suggestions and stuff, see what you guys want to see. So, yeah, it's so that, that's, my, that's, like, at least my idea is that we'll get, like, the input from the community because, obviously, you guys are going to be the ones using it the most. Definitely. I know um, um on Sakinima's form and on Jubo's form, we actually have a list of... um. Yes, uh, I've got those lists on my computer. So I've got those ready to go. 
Okay, so you're we'll, uh, my favorite we'll, person we'll, now. You're you're all set. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try we'll try and work in as much. We'll try and tell talk to you guys as much as we can about everything. That's the best way. The community the is like, say like you guys promote the community and the community will promote your game. Like that's the best yeah. like chain of strategy you can do for this kind of stuff for a dream specifically. So you guys yeah, are already on the right. Brilliant. You'll be fine. You guys got this. I mean, thank you. You're you're thank you're you. already on it. Right. Thank you. We are 45 minutes in, so we should probably get to the questions and more Kingdom Hearts. Right, okay, <laughs> cool. I don't yeah. know how much we have left, <laughs> yes. but yeah, let's do these. Uh, question number cool. one. Uh, this is by a Scary Biscuit of a piece. Scary Biscuit, really awesome creator. I love working with him. Um, mm-hmm. Do you have any creative influences? If so, what are they? Uh, so, I have, I have two. I would probably say two. Um, they're both people. Ooh. Um, one would be like not not my well yeah he's my hero uh greg miller like i look I to greg love miller to uh um, greg oh my I look gosh to, yeah i look to him as like if you see me on video all sorts then you'll you'll probably see that i'm inspired by him i actually um, had an alcoholic drink spilled on him by me oh oh me. no so what happened psx so we went to the hotel and we had dinner with molecules right we got out and yeah. all of these Sony officials and media were all in the same lobby talking to each other. It was yeah. a gamer's dream, right? And then I saw <laughs> Greg. No, I saw Greg before, um, two years before that, and on PSI, um, yeah, at PAX East the year before that, um, yeah, and he remembers me. I was like, hey, Greg. He was like, oh, dude, I remember you. He was like, Jeans is awesome. And then he started giving me a hug, being like, hey, uh, I'm never no. gonna forget you. Um, Jeans is awesome. I can't wait to make stuff with you. Yada yada yada. And then by accident, yeah. um, when he was hugging me, I. Like shifted a little bit, so his drink spilled all over my back. Oh no! Yeah, Nightmare. Nightmare. <laughs> it was so funny. And then yeah, I, I was like, oh, oh god. god! And yeah. then someone That's, who was kind uh, enough gave me their jacket and patted my neck. Oh nice! Felt like yeah, but like Beautiful. I love Greg. It's pretty yeah, cool. I, yeah, I looked to him. He sort of inspired me. Like I d- funny. did a lot of video. Do a lot. Yeah, hey, brilliant, brilliant guys. Um, I do I do a lot of video work and like. See, like my like personality on video isn't like is not copied from him, but he, he's who I look to for inspiration, um, and just generally his presence in the video game industry is incredible. I'm and, pretty sure you're going to meet him someday. You will. Well, I've met I met him at a, a, a Sandy at a Comic Con oh, nice a few dude. years back, and like <laughs> I was with my mum, and she was like, "Is that who you that guy that you like?" She was like, "Go go say hello," um, oh my and God. he like that's so cool. Gave me a hug and all sorts. It was great. Um, and then my other creative influence would be a, uh, it probably a mishmash of the people that I've worked with. Um, so some shout outs to like uh, a girl called Lucy Hale. She's great. I know. Um, I think I know Lucy Hale somewhere. Uh, yeah, she's actually one of the questions. She asked one of the questions later on. That's why she's um, a streamer now. I remember now. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Um, and she works over at Square Enix and working alongside her is incredible. Um, an old manager, Adam Libanati Roach has inspired me to do a lot more work, made me a lot more confident on video. And then um, my best friend, Logan, is probably one of my biggest creative influences because he taught me things I know didn't ever couldn't ever know about social media. Logan from X-Men? Nah. <laughs> yes, the very same. I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> no, my creative influences tend to come from the people I work with. Uh, so Yeah, that's the best like, way about to look at it too. Yeah. yeah. Like, if I was gonna like name drop one, like like pick one, it would be Greg Miller. But like the people I work with are my biggest creative influence, just because they're incredible. And like working alongside someone like Abby is gonna be insane. I'm gonna learn so much. Abby is like one have. of the best professionals out there. Yeah, she she's yeah. been through like G4 and Respawn and all that. Like she knows her yeah, stuff. She's got crazy <laughs> crazy history. Yeah, so I I can't, yeah. I can't wait to learn. See, I didn't even that. know who she was when she started. And then when we had that podcast like we did with you like last year, she told me like everything she's yeah. done. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> it's yeah. really cool it's incredible isn't it yeah, yeah so that, like, that's probably my, my creative worthy. influences <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yes that'd be my creative influences that's a fairly good list I think that's that's, that's the best list you got right there that's <laughs> thank you like, wow <laughs> uh, oh I should probably ask Um, why do you have an underscore under your twitter name uh, because there already existed a Tom Dent oh no that was basically it I was like um, underscore, who, and, so know, don't actually, underestimate. He actually follows me now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> no, he. Yeah. Uh, the Tom Dent without underscore. Uh, we met on Twitter. And now we follow each other. It's great. Whoa. <laughs> 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 That's small world. 
Yeah. Best example right there. Small world. <laughs> uh, and another question that cool. we have is... Oh, uh, come on, preview. There we go. What is Tom's favorite song for Carpool Karaoke? My favorite song for Carpool Karaoke? Do you do Carpool Karaoke? Uh, I used to, and I fairly certain this question is from someone I used to Carpool Karaoke with. Uh, this um, question is from Just MVC. Yeah. Yeah, my favorite... Uh, so... Nod your head from Men in Black Two. Um, I can I'm imagine a Jeff right now. People nodding their head with the black uh, sunglasses yeah, on. Just being I'm like, a, I'm, a, I, I'm uh, experienced in singing along to that. That's probably that probably be my go-to karaoke song. I've tried asking me Molecule repeatedly to do a carpool karaoke me Molecule themed, like really bad. <laughs> I have like a pink car and I just have different yeah. molecules inside of it driving around Guilford just singing. I just. <laughs> I, oh my gosh. So many ideas. <laughs> yeah, so that's my carpool karaoke song, is Nod Your Head. Yeah, nice. Do you watch the YouTube videos of James Corden and the Apple streaming carpool karaoke? Uh, every now and then. Every now and then. Every now and then, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's your favorite band? Uh, my favorite band's Green Day. Nice. Uh, September ended, by the way. To... Sorry? September ended. Oh, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> I know, I love doing um, that to people like... They have that favorite song, Wake Me Up When September Ends. And then I'm yeah. like, oh, well, it ended. You can wake up now. <laughs> um, yeah, Green Day's my favorite band. Nice. Did you play the rock band version of Green Day? The yes, I did. Yeah, me and my brother played that religiously. Oh, my gosh. I yeah, didn't get the Pacific ones, unfortunately. I, actually, I oh. rented Metallica for Guitar Hero. That's the closest I've gone. Yeah. No, oh, that's, <laughs> that's a good game. Guitar Hero Live is the best, in my opinion. Yes. Oh, great game. Oh, you played it too? Best. Yes, yeah, I did a couple of years back, wasn't it? If you still have it, I'm down for online. <laughs> I don't still have it now, unfortunately. Oh, no. No, no. <sighs> wow, we have a lot of comedy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. We'll get on. Um, uh, what is your perfect Sunday morning breakfast? Matty my D. Is this that your brother? Matty D. Yeah, that's my brother. I was like, bad um, dance. I'm like, wait a minute. I, pro- I promise, I, yeah, I promise. I, I know a couple of people that made names and made questions, but the rest I have no idea. Um, oh, wow. So my perfect Sunday breakfast is a cinnamon cinnamon roll and a smoothie that is, and it's what I have every Sunday with my girlfriend. So that's our sun- do you guess like different breakfasts every day or like? Do you- well, no, mostly we're traveling, but on the weekends, obviously we get to chill. Oh, nice. Um, so... Sunday morning smoothies and a cinnamon roll. When when we can, that's the perfect Sunday morning breakfast. Nice. Yeah, see, all yeah. I have is just a bagel and coffee. That's a good choice, though. <laughs> it's a good choice. Remember, I had a bagel My friend morning. Jack and I were at PSX. We went to Denny's because it was like a one-minute walk. Yeah. Every morning, omelet. Yeah, bagel. Milkshake. Omelet bagel. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> oh, my God. I love yeah. this. Oh, my gosh. gosh. I know... You guys have that whole crumpet and scones and the whole jelly uh, and biscuit yeah, things going on in your right now. <laughs> yeah, just before I started that happened, so I'm glad I avoided that controversy. Yeah, I'm afraid to ask you for your opinion because I don't want you to have a like a battle with your no, co-workers. No, I don't want to. I, I, I dare, I dare weigh in. I dare weigh in. <laughs> I'll stay neutral. Oh dear. I have to like, remember that. <laughs> Note to self, if I go to England, do not order the scone or get the biscuits or anything yeah, <laughs> you, will you be won't washed. get what you want yeah you won't get what you want that's for sure oh uh, what school subjects or experiences did you have that helped out on your path to this point by Ar- aritadia one yeah um i actually didn't do anything like everything i know i've learned like just in my job i didn't actually do any sort of studying to get to where i am um which is quite nice to like no i think i think it's quite good to know that you can do like, if we want to get like emotional for a little bit like i've genuinely achieved what i wanted to do um through like perseverance and stuff and just learning um i did like film and media in college so i guess that's kind of linked so it's a lot of fun I was, yeah that's cool yeah when i was when i was doing those i wanted to be in the film industry so like, i guess it's a relevant i guess it's a like a a relative uh industry but it's not what i studied so I mean, you can make I've films of learned... dreams, so there you go. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, <laughs> come full circle. I I just learn what I do. What I do now, I've just learned like doing it. I think that's the best way. 
I, I, I wouldn't say any of my education really shaped what I, what I do now. Uh, yeah. Which I don't know. I don't know what kind of answer. I don't know if that's a good or bad answer. No, no, it's um, really good. I mean, when you said that you were doing film stuff, like imagine organizing actual film festivals around the Guildford or your local area, and just like showing reels of uh, anime films made in dreams. And there we go. Yeah. That's film stuff right there. So yeah, it's you sorted. A bit of sorted. Yeah. I know. I know how it works. Yeah. Yeah. So we're all good for that. <laughs> you got the profit community manager. Oh yes. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, another question is. Uh, if Tom could only bring three video games with him to a desert island, which would he pick? And then it's a palm tree emote. And this is by Hailfell, right. who we just talked about earlier. Yes. Uh, so three video games that I'd bring to a desert island. Uh, Kingdom Hearts one, Kingdom Hearts two. I saw it coming. Uh, <laughs> and can I can I can I say dreams? I thought you were gonna say Kingdom Hearts can three I... for sure. You can do <laughs> dreams. It doesn't exist. That yeah, technically I don't like. Do we, how do we Actually, know Kingdom Hearts 3 What you can do is that you can say, oh, I want to bring the 1.5, 2.5 PS4 remix. That counts as one game. Yeah. And then you can yeah, do Dreams and yeah. 3. Okay, cool. yeah, let me revise my answer. <laughs> Kingdom, Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5, Kingdom Hearts 3, and then Dreams. There we go. Um, because then I'd be fine. I think I'd be fine then on a desert island. You'd be fine. If we had a console, yeah. though. Sorry? If we had a PS4 on yeah, the island. Uh, yeah, yeah. If I, if I, hopefully... Hopefully, I'm not just bringing games with me for no good use. Like, you make, all right, we got some need, good time. I need a bit more. Yeah, I need a bit more uh, context to the question. Well, what's my situation? What's my electric? What's the electricity situation? What <laughs> console we playing on? It would have These to have questions. a really good back cover on the games to really enjoy. Yeah, it. just to read. Manual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big thick manual to keep me busy. Oh man, I can't imagine. Yeah, so that's, manual that's for my, dreams. That'd be so cool. That's that's my cop out answer. That's my like get out of jail answer, because <laughs> that's technically like a million games in one. It is, yeah. It's like I so can imagine the physical copy be really thick, like a book, because of the manuals detailing <laughs> everything that you can do. <clears throat> yeah, well, uh, for a serious answer, probably Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts one point five and two point five. Um, game. So say again, say if I ended up on a desert island tomorrow. Oh um, no! Kingdom we need Hearts new community manager then. Two, yeah, ah. uh, King Hearts 1.5, 2.5, um, Shadow of the Colossus, because I need to finish it. I need and to get then that. Sounds good. probably Breath of the Wild. Ah, oh, you switch. Why is move? There you go. Yeah. They are my three games. Nice. Uh, next Sorted. question is... Uh, let's keep track. Oh, yeah. What does your role of being a community manager entail? Now, we already talked about this earlier. Uh, but yeah. can you generally walk us through your daily commu- community uh, managing this? It was a, I remixed the uh, question. It was originally asked by James Herman. Sure. Yeah. Um, all sorts. Like my this role is like crazy. Like the amount that I do now, what I'm going to be doing is insane. Like I won't be doing the same thing like one every day. But the one thing I will be doing is talking to you guys. So I think the best way to look at a community manager role is that like is that literal meaning, like managing the community like mm-hmm. keeping you guys happy talking to you letting you know updates all sorts making sure if there's any complaints anything like getting that to the team uh communicating between you guys and the team um i share like any sort of nice like if we get good comments and stuff i'll share that with the team um so for example the tweet from jared uh this week about just discovering games i like, just discovering dreams i shared that with the team today they love that uh that's that is it it's, it's a very literal meaning like it is just managing the community and making sure you guys are good and you continue to be the best community and the friendliest community and the loveliest community yay <laughs> <laughs> we can have like a little happy meter <laughs> inside yeah. our desk That'll be kind. i think a lot of, i think a lot of misconceptions about the community managers is that we just sit and tweet that is not true at um, all oh my gosh no, so much happens like, behind the scene so much. Yeah, big sh- big shout out to a load of community ma- community managers just for the amount of work they do to make the community happy is incredible. It, it really is a big shout out. That's why we have a community manager appreciation day. Yes, and yeah, also we have yeah. a Pacific appreciation day on the community manager's birthday. For instance, Stephen or Abby, we just be like happy Abby appreciation day or Stephen pre- appreciation Aww, day or staff. We have lovely. one for staff. Um, we Aww, made it as nice. a pin and I would be too as in game achievement. I, th- I think. And people love him so yeah. much, he took a gif of his face and rotated it. I mean, like, I don't know if you saw it, but, like, it's so funny. 
but um amazing yeah it's really cool yeah that's yeah that's what a community manager is oh, that's it? what my day to day is <laughs> after everything going on yeah it's not just i'm going on social media guys i promise you that um no. speaking of which i forgot to mention what's it like being in a company where you have multiple toms there are so many toms in this place it's unreal <laughs> i've actually managed to escape uh bar one or two toms in the past five years i've never actually worked with another tom so to come to somewhere where there are now five there are there's um, tom yeah. k tom d and then tom c then there's you and then there's, there's tom oh. mansell oh. is our other tom and uh yeah so there's five of us um we're gonna start some sort of union i think um, the day of the toms the day, yeah but we're gonna we'll do a day own. of the dance oh man so back yeah. when there was like a lot of dance in me and molecule castro made yeah. sure that said day of the dance so we have like a little celebration. <laughs> it's like really cute, but yeah, yeah. There's a, a lot of toms, but they're all lovely. Do you have any Jerry's? Uh, no, not yet. I don't think. Or Ben. I well, see where you're going with that. Yeah, because yeah. people we were like, ben, oh, ben. like Ben, Ben and Jerry's, or Tom and Jerry. And Tom and Jerry. Like yeah. Nah, all the toms have been lovely. We they're doing they're doing the name well. They're doing the name proud. Yeah. It's. <laughs> <laughs> now you're gonna have like a Tom Appreciation Day. You're gonna sneak that Dreamstone inside of Dreams. That'd be so funny. <laughs> uh, next question is, oh yeah, so back to when we were talking about lunchtime and me and Molecule. It's a special yeah. time where me and Molecule or Molecules do different things, to play sports, puzzles, go for walks. How do you spend your lunchtime there? Uh, so, eating. The food here is incredible. Um, Kath and Erin are just incredible, incredible chefs. Um, but the story I mentioned earlier was it was my first sort of official, like, like, Oh yeah, okay. This is what me and Michael lunch is like. Uh, yesterday was the jigsaw. Um, we had some good food, and then the jigsaw came out, and then uh, Mark was sat on the. Do you remember the? You've been, you know, the drum set. Yeah, drum the and drum the and the piano was yeah. there too. Yeah, he was sat playing some music. We were doing a jigsaw puzzle, and everyone else was like discussing what they're working on and all sorts. So that was one of those moments where I was like, okay, cool. Like that's what this is. Um, but my lunch times have been eating here, staying in the office, going for walks around Guildford. I know, now know my way around Guildford, um, at least the immediate area, so I won't get lost. Oh. I'll still t- I'll still tell, I'll still ask Jenny to, like, if I'm not back by this particular time, send out a search party. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, like I mentioned, I'd never actually been to Guildford before. But Did you go to the plaza? Yeah. Please, please let me know you went to the plaza. Like, right behind the, the plaza. Company. So it's, like, the- right behind a company, If when you walk, um... It's like this yeah. whole place of different kinds of shops and like this whole, like a restaurant oh, yeah. area and then yeah I went there at night with Johnny and others uh yeah I mean I had five guys five guys yeah, is pretty oh, good five over guys there. so good yeah I found five guys the other day there's um, bills yeah. yeah like that area yeah it's good yeah cool. Guildford's lovely like my yeah so my lunch times are split between staying in the office and going outside yeah there's like a Warhammer shop too I realized when I was walking through, nice that was like pretty there's so much stuff over there it was like a little town. And right outside yeah, it's like great. a quiet neighborhood. I'm like, I want to live here. <laughs> yeah, it's a great place. I really like Guildford. It's like walking distance there too. Weeks. So like, you don't have to take a yeah. car or anything. And, or yeah, I had to go on. I, uh, I went on a, a massive adventure yesterday because I had to go find a post box. <gasps> I so know the post was, office. Yes, yes. I yeah, walked there yeah, accidentally so trying to find um, postcards, but they didn't have any when I was there. Uh, I was sad. No. <laughs> but I'm glad you found the post office though. It's great. Thank you, thank you. I think it's right next to the Starbucks. I, it's, it's, yes, I still it remember is. all this because I loved it over there. You do good memory. Yeah, good memory. it's like when something amazing happens in my life, like I never, I know that problem not gonna have again. Like I savior it like big time. Nice. So that's why yeah, I always say to people like, smart. um, I don't know if it's ever gonna happen again, but if it, but if it doesn't, this has been awesome. I've been savoring every moment of it. Yeah, I, oh, I always great. do that. But like, it's lovely. It's nice, but yeah, it's great. Like. If I ever nice. do someday get lucky and I get to go to Mini Molecule again, we gotta like walk around and do cool stuff. And like Yeah, we'll hang out. And we can show you the pub that we went to, the Britannica. I don't know if you've been there, but it's like really cool. <laughs> Not yet, no. Oh, no so I'm many sure, stories. I'm sure I will. I'm so sure many I will guys. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool though. Um I know that Rainbows recently too. Yes, the rainbow. That was an exciting day, like my <laughs> first week and everyone's losing their mind over a rainbow. It was a beautiful rainbow. They even had double um, rainbows too sometimes. I yes think. oh yeah rarity uh yeah that was a great day <laughs> yeah uh let's see oh yeah 
Do you think it will be hard to get people interested in like dreams? Uh, Spy and being parallel. Uh, n- not at all. Like like I said earlier, like I don't think I'm ever going to meet anyone, um, or have yet to meet anyone that isn't at least intrigued by this game. Um, and then as soon as you get the chance to use it, you 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 sold. I think. Like I don't think it's going to be hard. I think once everyone's actually like play i think it's the same with loads of games like yeah I until agree we get you, to yeah. <laughs> until you get to play it you won't know for sure if it's for you but i don't think dreams is a game that won't have at least everyone intrigued like i think that's the best way of putting it like i don't think it's going to be a, a taller challenge to get people to like listen to it just because it's it is what it is like we can get, we can go on and on about it but I think it's going to intrigue everyone at least. Uh, yeah, my people that, like people rush- that play games, people that don't play games, people that know yeah. uh, Media Molecule, like game the game industry will, will be intrigued by Dreams. All they have to do is see it for themselves, get their hands on it, and they're set. I'm pretty yeah. damn sure yeah. that's that's the yeah. case. So, so in answer the the real straight answer to that question, no, no, <laughs> with the capital N <laughs> and the capital O, exactly. <laughs> Maybe an exclamation mark. I love how you guys do like like um occasional tweets with dreams footage like the toaster popping out like recently and like yeah oh, it's like, i love that kind yeah, of stuff brother. yeah and the it's cat brilliant. the it's cat just, like you animated it for that um oh, pan cat, yeah for the cat day Great. yeah that was that was yeah. really cool <laughs> or the tv yeah everything. that's the cool way of sharing it like that's what we aim to do is like to be able to show little things like that <laughs> yeah like christmas <laughs> we know you guys yeah. we know you guys really love it <laughs> i know um, yeah and it's the best way of us showing our game I know on Christmas Day I like that farting Christmas tree too. Like you farted out gifts. Yes. That was so funny. Yeah, wasn't that something? That was something, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I love Martin made it. It was pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Okay, now here's a big section. Have you played Little Planet 1, 2, or Tearaway? No, but this is by Hajimab Sarad. I can't pronounce his name. Is there Zad? Right. Oh, yeah. Um, now you told me that you had a really big history with Little Planet, so this is a perfect opportunity. Yeah, so. Yeah, so yes, I've play, I played all three of them. Um, Little Big Planet One was one of the first games on my PlayStation, my PS3. Um, but Little Big Planet Two was the game that, like, sort of, uh, as with all of us, like Little Big Planet Two was the one that like got me. Like that game is insane, and I, I, me my too. best story, my best story with it is um, just being sat with my family, like just all being amazed with it, like just like venturing into the like the community stuff seeing what people have made um sharing creations with my friends my friend uh, managed to recreate the opening for toy story 2 really um in little Big planet 2 which was i still don't know how like <laughs> i still don't know how but yeah uh, little Big planet 1 2 like lifeblood of my ps3 like for ages and then tearaway is the game that i played on my vita like tearaway was insane I never actually managed to play it unfolded, um, just because I never got round to it. But mm-hmm. Taro was Taro was like it was perfect because it was just that breath of fresh air, but you could still tell it was a media molecule game. Yeah, like, it's cute. The same with Dreams, like you can tell that it's the it's you can tell that it's this company, um, and Taro is unique, and I think it was the perfect way of like demonstrating what that handheld could do. Uh, yeah. It was definitely a big classic yeah. on the Vita. If you don't have Terra yeah, on the Vita, please get that now. It's really going. Yeah. Unfolded was bigger and better graphics. Yes. Rex directed it. Really good job on both games. Um, yeah. Yeah, it was absolutely brilliant. Terra is a genius invention. That was the first game I actually played at a kiosk at a convention, actually. Pax East 2015. Oh, really? I played it there, yeah. It was really cool. Amazing. Yeah, no, Terra is amazing. But yeah, a little bit behind. If I had to choose one game out of those three, Little Big Planet 2, 2 is my Me too. That's how I started. My one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's just genius. <laughs> and it's just genius. Funnily enough, they actually had a Toy Story pack come out for a little bit Planet 2 as well later on. I don't know if you... Yes, they did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe hopefully yeah, one so... for Dreams. That'd be so cool. <laughs> yes, I so, so yes, I have played those games and I've got a like, massive history of them. Uh, yeah, um, it's awesome. and It's cool. Like, I don't know if you still have that Toy Story level queue that you talked about earlier um, regarding your friend making Toy Story 2. I want to play that now. Oh god, I don't know how you'd find it. I can't remember. <laughs> I, know I can't remember what it was called. Cool. I can't remember all sorts, but um, <coughs> <coughs> but obviously, like it's all about what people created. There's unique content and stuff. Yeah. So it was playing levels that just blew your mind and how people did it, and yeah, it's just incredible. Uh, just brilliant, 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 brilliant games. 
Yeah, it's like it's not just like seeing it being made, but how you make it too is also the fascinating part. Because people like when it comes to create games, you can do the same thing over and over again, but how you do it can always be differently. So people yeah. can take the long way or the short and easy way, and still achieve the same effect. So it's yeah. like seeing how you make it is the best way to um, develop as a creator because then you can create more things at the time and uh, you save from not creating it via a hassle. Yeah. And it's like, it's going to be great, especially with Dreams. There's so many different ways you can create things in Dreams with the tools well, that I you give us. You give us like the base stuff. Yeah. Now is how we use it. It's how it's going to define how we create something. And that's exactly yeah. what's going to blow. <laughs> one, of the, uh, one of the comments yeah, that minds. sticks out to me one of the comments that sticks out to me from uh, PSX was uh, someone commented, I don't know who it was, um, but they said these guys have gone from LBP2 to like LBP18. And that's like the best way of describing dreams. Yeah, it's. <laughs> like it's just. <laughs> it's huge cool. evolution. It's like for the longest yeah. time, like I know everyone's trying to like condense dreams into one sentence. Like the question, what is dreams? It's like we have to condense it to like the best thing ever. And. It's, yeah. All we have to say is just like it's a community space where you get to experience our dream, the community's dream, and create your own. And that's it. Yeah. And then boom, yeah. show them the game, getting mind blown, win. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, do we have any yeah. more questions? Have you created anything in a dream so far? If you have, can you talk about it? Oh, sorry. I think you broke up a little bit. I'm sorry. Uh, I said, have you created anything in a dream so far? And if you have, can you talk about it? Uh, I've created an island with a waterfall. Um, that's my that's my extent. I've been learning how to use it mostly over the past couple of weeks. So I've created an island with a waterfall in it that works. Like the waterfall works. It's great. It's lovely. I'm very proud of it. Did you use a strong um, tool with it? The paint tool? And like no, or... no. Unfortunately, I didn't actually make the waterfall. I kind of just used someone else's waterfall. That's good. But too. I put it together. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's great. Yeah, like Kareem I said in the stream earlier, he said the best way to start using dreams is to take a piece that's already made and just start messing with it. Yeah, like it's. I I, I was I was impressed. I impressed myself. I'm not gonna share it with anyone because it's it's not gonna blow any mind. It could inspire but, somebody. Um, who knows? You know. Yeah. Who knows? Uh, but yes, yeah, so that's what I've created so far. I've created a little island with a waterfall. And a, it's got like a lion statue on it. It's nice. So is this gonna be the island that you're gonna be on when you pick your three games? Yeah, that yes, <laughs> that's my desert island. It all connects. Yeah, sorted, <laughs> sorted. <clears throat> yeah. Oh gosh. Um. Yeah. The more and more, oops. The more and more you create, the more you're gonna realize how awesome your artistic ability is, or for anybody yeah. in general. Which yeah, I'm looking thing. forward to speaking looking of forward um, being able to do more. Yeah, the Kareem stream. Everyone was mind blown about the list feature or the overview, as Lucy called it. That was pretty no, funny. Yeah. How you just dropped the controller and a. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, what the heck was that? And we were like, oh, oops, new feature. <laughs> oops, there you go. Sorry. Yeah, I just have to mention that. It was so cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's like so many surprises. Like we saw some new stuff, even though like it was sculpting again. We saw a lot of new stuff, and you guys were like more yeah. confident in the tools and everything. And it was really enjoyable. I'm glad you guys. Yeah, I'm glad you guys really enjoyed it. It was a great stream. Uh, as my first stream, it was a great one to be a part of. But it was yeah. It was just rewarding. We should like practice so accidentally throw it. stuff. Yeah. It's like yeah, and like the the feedback from it over the past week or so has been incredible as well. Like the YouTube video, all the comments, everyone being so happy with it. Um, and hopefully we get to do more and more of those kind of streams with that same reaction. Yeah, uh, even more of that reaction each time. You guys have like a um a June stream once a month, I think Abby said, and you have one next month I'm too. Hoping, yeah, planning, yeah, planning on it. That's cool. Um, it's great. You guys are really busy with the game, and everything is coming together now. It's so exciting. <laughs> like, I got so many <laughs> years. Is, yeah, we've it's been. It's gonna be. It's gonna be an insane, like road. I can't wait. Yeah. Uh, so I think that's pretty much everything we covered. Well, we can also Amazing. talk about Kingdom Hearts for another hour, but like I think we should do it off podcast <laughs> because I think I don't think people would care. <laughs> yeah, we'll, 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 when we when we meet up in person, when we see each other in person, we'll have a Kingdom Hearts discussion. Oh, that's gonna be forever. Like in terms of yeah. like the good discussion, yeah. Um, we'll save you the triple of a game that we love. I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Oh man, and ah, I can't talk. About, okay, we'll talk about it in like. Yeah, when we talk about it someday. We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll do it elsewhere. We'll do it elsewhere. We'll, do, we'll just be like in an event or like if we ever meet me and Molecule, we'll be like, we'll have the whole upper floor to ourselves just talking about dreams and stuff. I'm not talking about um, Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, there we go. Yes. Sounds like a plan. I see some pretty good cosplay, actually. It's pretty nice. 
um, from yeah. people oh, some of the key blades. Like they make them from scratch. Like whoa. <laughs> yeah. Like the metal pipes. It's so good. Yeah. It's so 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 good. Yeah, we'll we'll save our Kingdom Hearts. Oh yeah, discussion. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. We'll... Just no, 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 yeah, no, yeah. no worries. I will be I will be here for a few hours if we start talking about Kingdom Hearts. Oh yeah, so. definitely. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. So, is there anything else that you want to talk about? Uh. Uh, regarding dreams or you is there anything you want to mention to the community any special mention at all i want to just want to say thank you everyone's been so welcoming like it's only been two weeks i hope i've done hope i've been good the past two weeks so i'm hoping to be even better over the next two weeks then the next two weeks the next two months the next what however for the rest of time um but yeah thank you all for welcoming wel- welcoming me with open arms and i hope you enjoy what i do for you guys and what you guys can do i hope we will work together well Yay. Um, do you have any advice saying how to get your dream job? Sorry? Do you have any advice of how um, someone could get their dream job? Uh, just learn. Learn and work. Like, throw yourself into it. Like, I just threw myself into it in my last job, and then that's how I've got here. I learn everything that I know now in that job. So just take as much chance as you get to learn from the people you work with. Yeah. I think that's the best. Or, or online, whatever you want to do. Like, whatever you want to do, just set your mind to it. Uh, and hopefully we'll do it definitely um be a self-starter and do your own projects and like build yourself a reputation through what you do yeah. and from what you love and then over and time do, whether it's a short time yeah. or a long time it's gonna pay off just do it like as well like if Child example, above. If you're, just if you're, do it yeah <laughs> if you are in, if you're into something like this kind of role just start talking about video games on your social media just start talking about video games start learning more and more about video games and you'll you'll get there that's what i did it's gonna be so much I think, fun. Uh, yeah, it's a whole it's journey out there. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, and best of luck with it. Yeah, like, best of luck with anything that you do. Definitely, best of luck. Um, even if it doesn't turn out to be the way you hope for, that's okay. It's life. It's fate. Um, keep going, mm. and you'll find something that you'll suffer and be happy. There's always gonna be obstacles along your way to the finish line, but there is always a finish line. So Truth. always remember that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So Tom. Uh. For more information on Tom, feel free to follow him on his social media at Tom yes. Dent underscore. Or if you're in the Dreams Discord server, if you don't have an invite, feel free to tweet at me. Happy to fifty three. I'll give you one. Um, Tom's there too on, on Discord. Or I don't know if I'm allowed to say yeah, that. Yeah, come join like, us. Okay, yeah, there we come go. Come join us. All right, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, whoops. And then I don't yeah. know his penis on name. I'll leave that private. <laughs> yeah, yeah follow, Twitter's the best place to catch. Twitter's the best place. Yep. Tom Dent underscore. Um. Yeah, and Tom, dude, thank you so much for everything that thank you, you did. Much. Welcome to the community. We do love you, and you thank love us you. back. It's going to be great. Oh, thank you. Um, thank you very much. Of course, if you ever do need anything, the community is always here for you. Don't be afraid to ask us, because most of us are like LBP veterans, basically. So it's like, yeah, you, we've been you through guys it. Stuff. <laughs> yeah, we've all been through yeah. it. Um, anybody you ask, yeah. they'll give you good advice. Not just one person, yeah, thank which is pretty cool. Definitely. Thank um, you. Yeah, we're really looking forward to seeing what you guys are up to and hopefully meeting you in real life one day cool man. Uh, everybody this is the this has been a, another special edition of the dream bubble podcast thank you so much for listening and we all hope you have a good one bye bye